Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Revan here and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to make an audio spectrum in Adobe After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so first of all, we're going to make a new composition, uh, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, and we're going to put it around 5 minutes. So press OK, and let's go. So the first thing we actually need to do is import our files in there. So we have to have two files, which is a song and a background. You don't need a background, but it's nice to have a background. So we're going to import both of them. We're going to drag the background to the layer beneath it. And the first thing we're going to do is actually make sure the background is a bit darker because it's too flashy and we want the audio spectrum to pop up and not the background. So we are going to our effects and presets panel. If you don't have that one, go to window and press effects and presets and it will pop up. So once you have it, you're going to type in UE from the UE saturation, double click on it, and we're going to change the master lightness to around minus 60 so it's a bit darker so the audio spectrum will pop up even more all right so cool that's done uh while we're at it we're just going to add the song in there as well um we're going to make a new solid so right click on the composition over here and make a new solid the color doesn't matter and we're going to call it audio spectrum sounds like a a trick from Harry Potter but okay so um, we have an audio spectrum over here uh, and now we're going to make the, the spectrum itself which we're going to do with the ellipse tool so we're gonna open the ellipse tool press in the middle hold uh, control or shift no control or command plus shift and so you will have a perfect circle uh, around this is okay mm, yes let it go um, on the bottom left you can see the mask which says mode add we're going to change it to none so it won't show up any of it but we're going to fix it we're going back to the effects and presets on the top right and we're going to type in audio and here you can see audio spectrum double click on that and now you can see the line over here which is actually the bars which uh, explains the different sounds of it of the song um, it doesn't do shit at the moment, so we're going to change that because on the top left you can see the effect panel. We're going to change the audio from audio spectrum to actually the song because now it just gets the sound of the uh, of this ellipse, but there is no sound. And then once you click that one, you can see some shit is going on. And if you move around, you can see that it's picking up the sounds. Let's put it a little bit full so you can see it a bit better. All right, but that's not what we want. We want that the, the bar of the sound is going to around the circle. So on the top left, you have path over here, which you're going to change to mask one, because that's the mask which is in the audio spectrum, which is in the circle or ellipse. So once you click that, you can see we're getting there. If you disable uh, the mask, you can now see that what we have just achieved in, what's it, two, three minutes? You already have pretty much what you want. So now it's a matter of fine tuning. So we're going to bring that stuff back and now we're just going to add the audio spectrum. So we have a song, we have a mask, uh, start frequency and end frequency pretty much means how many sounds it's going to pick up. So we're going to change the from 2000 to around 300. The frequency bands is pretty much how many of those bars do you want, which we're going to increase to around 100. Uh, the maximum height pretty obvious is the height of the bars the higher it is the more the higher the bars are we're gonna put that to around 700 then we have the thickness uh, the thickness we're going to increase a little bit because we want the bars a bit bigger to 10 and the softness which is like a blur around it we just want to get rid of all of that so we're gonna put it to zero the colors uh, the inside colors well, as you can see, is the inside of the bar and the outside actually there's a, there's a stroke around it. And both we're going to put to white because we're going to change the colors uh, at the end of it. All right, you've got a couple display options, but um, I will just go through it quickly. Digital are like bars, analog lines is like when you have a heartbeat. It looks weird in this example, but you can pretty much m make a, a heartbeat sensor out of it. And the last one, analog dots, are like dots which will look really weird, weird in this example. Look at that. <laughs> it's just weird. So we're going to keep it to the digital. 
uh, side A and B. Side A is the inside line. Side, <coughs> sorry about it. Side B is the outside line, and side A and B are inside and outside. So we're going to keep it to side B. That's what we want. All right, cool. So we've got this. Uh, the second thing we're going to do is make the uh, the progress uh, ellipse, which is going to be inside of it. So we're going to click on the mask, and you're going to press Command or Control D to duplicate it. Just got no. Uh, let's first let's close it up. Press on the audio spectrum. Press M, and now we are going to Command D, and you're going to double click on one of the anchor points over here. So we're going to make it a bit smaller. Hold Command or Control plus Shift to make it proportionally smaller, like that. That's okay. So the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to give it a stroke. So we are going to go to Effects and Presets. We're going to type in Stroke. We're going to double click. We're gonna the path of the stroke. We're gonna put it to mass two because we want the inner line to be to have a stroke, and the settings we're going to have for the uh, stroke's brush size around six. Color white, which is already is white. That's okay. We're gonna go to the beginning of our composition, and we're gonna put the start one to uh, zero, and we're gonna press the little timer over here. So we're gonna animate it. Then we're going to the end of the song. Uh, a shortcut to get to the end is Command or Control plus Option or Alt plus Shift. It's a large one. And then the right arrow key and you will go to the end of it. And then we're going to change that one to... Oh, we did it the other way around. So we're going to put that one to zero. And we're going to put the first one to 100. Sorry about that. Check mix it up. So we're going to do the same thing. The first one is 100. Command or Control, Option or Alt, plus Shift, and the right arrow key. And we're going to put that one to zero. And now we have our progress bar. Pretty cool, right? And pretty easy to do. So, all right, so we've done this shit. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is make the timer in the middle. So we're going to close that one up. We're going to right click, make a new, and make a new text one. And now it's going to get a bit tricky, but I'm here to help you out because to be able to make the timer, you need to insert some code. So you're going to open the, the text layer, open text, and you have source text. Um, over here, I have some code which we're going to implement. So we're going to select all command or control C, get rid of that. And we're going to option or alt click on the timer over here which will pop this one up where you can put in some code or a script. So we're going to add that one and get out of it. And as you can see now, for some reason we have a timer, but that's the magic of scripting. So we're going to uh, put it back to the middle. Uh, if you zoom in, you can see the anchor point of it, which we're going to change to the middle. If you select uh, the Y or pen behind anchor point tool, you can drag it to the middle and we're going to put it somewhere around here. We're going to increase it a little bit. Hold shift Move it to the right. Ah, I think this is okay. All right, so here we go. Gonna close that one. Uh, the important thing is make sure that it's aligned to the left because if you put it to the right, it doesn't look funny this time. Normally it does. So just make sure it's aligned to the left. And it's all Gucci. All right, so now we're going to we're going to add the colors to it. So we're going to select the audio spectrum uh, and the timer. I'm going to right click and pre-compose it. I'm going to call it audio spectrum, and then we're going back to the effects and presets tool. I'm going to type in gradient, and if you go down or up. It's over here, it's just that four color gradient. And we're gonna double click on that. And as you can see, it already added some amazing colors, but we're gonna change that. Um, my advice, uh, just pick a color which is already in your background uh, and pick 
four colors which are pretty much close to each other so don't do it like that but pick four tones or for example which we're going to do is like a yellow so you have a yellow over here i'm going to copy the code i'm going to go to the second one copy the same thing but make it slightly different I'm going to do the one over here which we're going to be a little bit darker and then the final one is going to be a something like that and I think this is okay so you have like four tones of like a yellow to red so this is okay uh, you have those dots in the corners which we're going to bring towards our timer so the colors will be more vibrant yes and the final one All right here we go so that's what we have uh, the settings over here no, there's not much you need to do about it the only thing you need to do actually is change the blending mode from the audio spectrum to screen so it's a little bit more transparent gives a little bit a softer look not that harsh and now we are at the final point of this amazing thing that's we're going to add one more effect go to effects and presets and type in glow double click on it and we're going to change to as you can see it gives a nice glow around it the glow threshold we're going to bring it down a little bit to 55 and the glow radius is going to be a bit stronger to around 15 and this is our end result uh, i'm going to play it i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions just put it in the comment section below um, and i'll see you in the next video cheers Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If not, refresh it, give it another chance. Got questions? Just ask them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.